Closed captioning for great tastes is presented by Manitoba Turkey Producers. Make it with turkey. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods. Great Taste is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture. Welcome to Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name is Des Daniels, your host, and tonight it's all about Manitoba turkey producers, and things just got very professional in here. We have Chef Jason Wartzman, who's going to be walking us through some amazing recipes tonight, very exciting. And then we also have Aaron Oblast here, um, an expert of sorts. No, <laughs> full-on expert, Manitoba Liquor Mart. So uh, you're going to be checking out these recipes and seeing what kind of fun you can have with them. Uh, but before we go any further, we're just gonna kind of do a quick off the top here. What are we cooking tonight? Well, we're starting with a uh, turkey mole, and we're, uh, it's going to be a taco, so that's uh, you know a standard Mexican, South American street food. For sure, yeah. Yeah, and then after that, we're moving into the classic uh, Jamaican jerk. Okay. And doing it, of course, with turkey as well. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then the final one is, a, how do you pronounce it, a turkey? Ban mai. Ban mai. Okay, yeah. and this is like a sandwich of sorts, Yeah, it's right? a Vietnamese sandwich, which is also a common street food. For and sure. it's on a, basically on a, on a bun. All right, exciting. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? You know, I gotta step up my game. We have uh, Chef Jason here. I yeah. know he's gonna be layering a lot of flavor. So we're gonna try and, and uh, match that with the pairings by creating some delicious cocktails. Cocktails it is. We'll, we'll see, see you shortly. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh my gosh, we have so much to get to here. But first off, I'm start, so mole, uh, there's lots of different kinds of moles that you yes. can make. And, and I think our whole point tonight is we want to convince you, it's a, it's a bit of a complicated recipe, mm -hmm. but that it's so worth making at home. It's so worth trying. We're gonna show you exactly how to do that. So why don't we get started? Yeah, for sure, because you can buy it in a jar, but it's not it's at all not, the same as no. this. Okay. So the key ingredients are the dried chili peppers and the chocolate. So what Those kinds of peppers? Yeah, so what I've used today is this is a pasilla chili, okay. and this is an ancho. ancho and yep. you could also use a Modelo chili, but uh, they're not spicy at all, Okay. just to know. So it's more about the flavor. Yes, it's about the flavor, the yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there is no, no really heat in this dish. Okay. Um, so you take the peppers and you boil them in water and then let them sit for about uh, 10 minutes until they get really soft. Then you remove the stems and all the seeds. And then you're left with something that looks like That's this. That's what you end up with. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you strain the liquid, and you want to keep about a cup of that liquid to go into your mole as well. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that in the blender. Okay. And then uh, we have some almonds here. Mm -hmm. So there's some just toasted, uh, plain, uh, skinless almonds there. So those will go in as well. I see some roasted garlic. That's yep. coming up in yep. a minute. So there's okay. a couple of cloves of roasted garlic. So Perfect. those will go straight in as well. Yeah. Sesame seeds mm -hmm. too which uh, gives a real nice flavor there. What's that business? And this is uh, coriander seed oh. and uh, anise seed as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, also lightly toasted to give it some flavor there. Okay. Yeah, so that goes in. And then what we have here, um, first of all, uh, we took one of our uh, white corn tortillas mm -hmm. and we fried it in coconut oil, just pan fry it till it gets nice and crispy. And then that's going to go in. That's going to give it some. You actually put that in yeah. the mold. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, it gives it a bit of texture and flavor, so it gives it a okay. bit of body to the mole hmm. and gives it a bit of. That, that's not uh, what I thought you were going to do flavor. with that, but okay, yeah. cool. Okay. And then in the same oil, I've taken some raisins and sautéed them, and it's uh, pretty amazing. In a couple of minutes, they just puff right up. Yeah. And very, then you just dump puffy. them right in with the chili oil there. Okay. And those perfect. Go straight in there. And what about the chocolate? When do we get to the chocolate? What do we do with the chocolate? Yeah, the chocolate's going to come okay. after. All we're right, going to melt right. it in. So right now, we're just going to pour that liquid in as well. And, uh, and then we're going to start blending. Uh, we're going to need some stock and I'm just going to pour some of it in right now. So you just kind of, like with the liquids in particular, just kind of see what you need. You add just sort of Yeah, well it's, everything's measured. That was a cup of okay. uh, a cup of that liquid. It's just the stock at the end. You can right. add okay. more So it's just, uh, yeah, very quick blending there. Then of course, and it just goes into the pot here. Okay. And you want to heat it up. And then, uh, 
so you would heat this. Yeah, so okay. once it's starting to simmer, then you put your chocolate in. And what this, kind of chocolate is that? Yeah, this is a Mexican chocolate. Okay. And uh, if you can't find it, because you have to get it in a specialty store, you can just use uh, semi-sweet chocolate and add a little bit of cinnamon to it. Okay, uh, and what, so that's, I'm just wondering what sort of makes it special, like in terms of the flavor? Well, it's, it's, it's that just cinnamon a thing really. Unto itself. And, yeah, okay. it's just a unique kind of chocolate. Okay. And they, they make it into a drink and uh, lots of other stuff, but that's what sure. should go into your mole as well. Sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then that goes okay. in there, or would yeah. go in there. Yeah. So I've got some here with the melted chocolate in it, because yes. that's going to be mixed in with our turkey. We do. So I've sauteed some onions and garlic here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to put our meat in there too. I want to point out though, this is one of those amazing uh, slow cooker, uh, like pre-done turkeys that you it can is, get. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so this is uh, a new product that I developed. It's, uh, you can get it at Safeway and Sobeys. Mm -hmm. And it goes straight from the freezer into the oven, okay. into the slow cooker. So Easy. And you just leave it all day long. And that's what we've got here in this yeah, bowl, Yeah, so that's right? what it looks like when it comes out of the slow cooker. You just let it cool a bit, you shred it, and uh, and then it's just super easy to do. And then you just mix, mix, mix. Yeah, okay. so it just goes into your pot here. Okay. And then we can just dump the sauce right in. Okay. Do you trust me to... Absolutely. Yeah, I'm very just nervous doing this around a real yeah. chef. That's okay. A real chef. Oh, it's like it just smells, well, it smells like yeah. chocolate. Yeah, that's good. You Is probably, that good? Yeah. And this, you can do a double batch of this sauce. It freezes really well. Does it? And, uh, oh yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. That's and then you can always just add whatever extra things you want to, if you want to sell your favorite salsa, some avocado, and then you just want to take some of your meat. And I just want to point out that like when we were prepping for this, you actually mm -hmm. warmed those up just a little bit in the pan, just to yep. kind of soften them up and make them more malleable, make them more mm -hmm. easy to roll. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. terrific. Helps. And then uh, some shredded lettuce or lettuce. cabbage. I've got some uh, jalapeno Monterey Jack wow. here, and uh, essentially that's it. That's it. Yeah. Wow, look at you. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, like I'm really resisting the urge to say like holy moly right now, but uh, turkey taco moles, uh, absolutely fantastic. Again, you can find these recipes greattastesmb.ca because you know we went through it fairly quickly, but uh, smells amazing and uh, I'm sure tastes even better. Thanks. Yeah. We're gonna come right back and we're gonna do our Jamaican jerk turkey right here on Great Tastes of Manitoba. Stay with us. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba. Brought to you in part by greattastesmb.ca. Local farms, local foods.